Hi everyone, Will here, and before we start, I want to address this Anthony Weiner sexing scandal. Look guys, Brett Favre should never be your role model when it comes to hitting on women. If you really want dating advice from an all-time great QB, look no further than Joe Namath. Now when the team is struggling. I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. See? Be a man like Broadway Joe and have the decency to sexually harass a woman in person. It lets them know you care. You got it? Good. On with the lineup. Dirk Nowitzki, despite a fever of 102, Dirk led the Mavs to a Game 4 victory with 21 points. One of the all-time great sick performances, a long time Jordan's flu game, and Magic's 95-96, holy crap, do I really have to guard him comeback season. USC forced to vacate their 2004 national championship. Good news though, Matt Leinhardt gets to keep his crappy NFL career. He earned that one fair and square. NBC secured Olympic TV rights through 2012 and will, for the first time ever, air all the events live. This means when Norway's Peter Nortug attempts to defend his 50 kilometer gold and cement himself as cross country skiing's legend, you cannot give a shit right as it's really happening. Von Miller, the Broncos' top pick and very large black man pictured here, got this tattoo pictured here. Watermelon, money, fried chicken, and Pac-Man. You know, this just reinforces the awful stereotype that black people love Pac-Man. From my experience, they're more Galaga fans. It's the Eskimos who love the Pac-Man. <laughs> Fingers! In the wake of the Alex Burroughs finger-biting incident, players from the Canucks and Bruins have both used their digits to taunt their opponent. It's the most prevalent use of the finger taunt since hitters mockingly wave their fingers at pitcher Jim Abbott in the 90s. He's got no hand. In other taunting news, Bryce Harper blew a kiss to a pitcher during his home run trot. A lot of people were pissed about this, but I don't really see the big deal. Harper's Mormon. Blowing kisses is the only permissible way he can show affection. Had he been Catholic, he would have just fingered the pitcher and been reassigned up to double A. <laughs> Terrell Pryor, leaving Ohio State a missed scandal, and reports he received up to $40,000 to sign memorabilia, which is a great deal if you think about it. Auburn had to pay their quarterback hundreds of thousands just to sign one national letter of intent. Good old Mark Jackson signed a deal to coach the Golden State Warriors, which is great because instead of being on ESPN ruining basketball for everyone, he'll just be on a bench ruining it for one franchise. Thanks, buddy. Rootin' tootin' Colt McCoy's wife criticized the University of Texas, saying college boosters handed out gifts to players in hopes of being repaid when they made the pros. Hmm. Interesting she didn't mention college girls handing out blow <laughs> for the exact same purpose. Wonder why. Wayne Rooney announced on Twitter that he got hair plugs. The Man U striker thought it was a good idea to get the plugs after learning teammate Ryan Giggs enjoys every hairless hole close to him. I'm Will Noonan for Bob Barker, reminding you, help control the little kid population. Have your Asians spayed or neutered. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.